Here, I brought your change of clothes. Thanks. And here. Huh? What's this? My husband Felix would say this as he smirks at me and handed me the divorce papers. Hey, if we get divorced right now, you'd be in trouble, right? Now, do you see clearly the difference in where you and I stand? Saying this, my husband immediately left the hospital room. My husband had visited me at the hospital to just feel superior without caring about my condition and how I was. My name is Hazel. I am 32 years old and I work in a company. It has been three years now since I got married to my husband, Felix. I first met Felix through a blind date and he began to talk to me a lot. So after getting approached by him, we began to go out. And after going out for six months, Felix had proposed to me and we got married. Since both Felix and I worked, we basically shared the house chores. But when one of us was busy at work, one of us would do the chores to support the other, and so on. And we spent our lives as a couple, taking care of each other. My husband was always kind to me, and even after three years of marriage, we were still getting along well. So. I thought I had found the right person, or so I thought. One day, I came home from work really happy. I took off my shoes and hugged my husband at home with a huge smile on my face. Oh, hey, what's going on? Oh, listen, honey, I got a promotion. What? It's because my last project was a huge success, and my bosses acknowledged my hard work for it. I... I see. Until now, you have been earning more than me, Felix. So, you had to pay a lot more for the living expenses and such. But now, we can finally split it in half. Let's celebrate by having steak today, okay? I even bought some really nice sirloin steak. Oh, okay. I'm just going to go take a bath first. I felt that my husband's reaction was somewhat weak, but at the time I thought he was just exhausted from work. Later, after I was promoted, my workload increased and I had more things to learn. So I continued to work overtime. So, as a result, I would end up coming home late from work. I'm home! Oh, oh welcome home. Hmm? Where's dinner? Oh, I already ate. Huh? There's still some ingredients left, so why don't you just quickly cook something easy and eat something? My husband would say that while watching the TV without even looking at me. I wonder what's going on with him. Until now, if one of us had to work late, the one who arrived home first would make the meal and leave it for the other. But my husband was giving off an aura that told me not to talk to him. So I had no choice but to cook a simple meal, even though I was pretty exhausted from work. Oh, we're out of buns or bread. And I looked over our pantry, but we're also out of pasta too. Since there were no carbs that I could eat, the only option I ended up having was salad and yogurt. What, you're eating only salad and yogurt? Will that be even enough for you, nutrition-wise? Usually, people who can do their work really well even pay close attention to what they eat, you know? My husband, perhaps hearing the sound of me eating my salad, began to pick on me. 
It feels like he's trying to say something which would hurt my feelings. After that, my husband's attitude toward me became more and more terrible. Hey, please don't leave your clothes all over the place. Huh? If they are in the way, why don't you just put them into the laundry basket? Hey, today's the day you are in charge of doing the house chores, right? What? Women are supposed to do the house chores. So, don't you dare depend on me to do any house chores. Excuse me? Are you just getting carried away because you got a promotion? That's not true. Huh, we'll see about that. Anyway, I'm not doing any house chores anymore, alright? What? From today, all the house chores are your job since you're the woman. No way. Then, my husband really actually stopped doing anything around the house and left all the house chores to me. So, I had to do all the housework and it became quite physically demanding. Since I work overtime most weekdays, I can't really clean around the house. So I had to do most of the house chores on the weekends and I couldn't really take any weekends off at all. Plus, I'm not sure if my husband was just being mean and doing it on purpose or not, but he made the room dirtier than ever and it takes a lot of time to clean it up nicely nowadays. And at mealtime, Felix used to eat everything and say whatever I could taste good. But recently, he started complaining about every little thing I cook. Felix would complain, saying things like how it's tasteless, or it wouldn't taste good, or the next day he would say it tastes too strong, and so on. And he would also complain about me at every chance he has. You can't even do your house chores properly. So, I wonder why you even got promoted. Your company is going to go bankrupt, probably. My husband looks so happy when he looks down on me like that. How on earth did Felix become such a person? One day, I was so exhausted physically and mentally that I collapsed at work due to severe abdominal pain caused by the stress from overworking. And because of that, I was rushed to the hospital. According to the doctor's diagnosis, I had a stomach ulcer. I was told that I would need to stay in the hospital for a few days and I had to prepare a change of clothes. I didn't want to, but... But the only person that I could rely on was my husband at the moment, so I decided to contact him. I really wanted to contact my parents, but they were really old and couldn't really move around freely because of how old they were, and I felt bad about calling them for something as trivial as this. I called my husband, but he was at work, so he didn't answer right away. Then, after leaving a few incoming calls, I received a call back from my husband, and he sounded really annoyed and irritated. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm at work, you know. Sorry, I just got rushed to the hospital and I have to be in there for a few days. What the? You're hospitalized? What the hell did you do? Why are you being hospitalized? I got a stomach ulcer from all the stress. Then, my husband started to talk while he laughed. Seriously? A stomach ulcer? Maybe you're not cut out for your job after all. Because, you know, you worked a little bit of overtime and you got a stomach ulcer from that, right? If you ever get promoted to an even higher position, your stomach will probably come out of your mouth, won't it? <laughs> Stop being so mean to me. 
In any case, I need you to bring me a change of clothes. <sighs> what a pain in the ass. Fine, I'll do it. Thank you. Please. I'm just glad my husband did what I asked him to do anyway. A few hours later, my husband came to the hospital room after work. Here, I brought your change of clothes. Thanks. And here. Huh? What's this? My husband, Felix, would say this as he smirks at me and handed me the divorce papers. Hey, if we get divorced right now, you'd be in trouble, right? Now, do you see clearly the difference in where you and I stand? Alright? This is a warning that I'm willing to divorce you at any time. If you understand, you better reflect on that while you're in the hospital. Saying this, my husband immediately left the hospital room. My husband had visited me at the hospital to just feel superior without caring about my condition and how I was. So, no wonder Felix agreed to bring a change of clothes to me like that. I was feeling sick from the stress and everything that was happening, so I headed to the bathroom. Then, through the window, I suddenly saw the hospital's parking lot. Oh, that's my husband's car. My husband was walking to his car. Oh? A woman came out from his car? Who the heck is she? Oh, whoa. Did they just start to kiss? Then they both got into the car and the car drove away from the hospital parking lot. What I saw was pretty much my husband having an affair with another woman I've never seen before. I was so stressed out because of Felix that I even got sick and hospitalized like this. And now, he's just having an affair with another woman? I felt empowered to get out of the hospital as soon as possible and get a divorce from Felix. I had let my husband's change in attitude get the better of me, and I had let him say whatever he wanted to say to me, but I was going to gather evidence and get out of this hellhole. After that, I was discharged from the hospital, so I packed my belongings and went back to my parents' house. I was lucky that the day I left the hospital was on a weekday. I was able to easily move my stuff out without my husband finding out. A couple of days passed, but I didn't hear from my husband as he didn't even try to contact me. He probably thinks I don't matter and thinks that I'm still in the hospital. But you would normally notice if the things of that person who you were living with was gone. I guess that's how much Felix really have lost interest in me. I had the investigators look into Felix's affair right after I left the hospital. But it seems to be taking longer than expected. My husband seems to be quite careful about being caught, and even after a few weeks, he still doesn't seem to be showing any hints or trails about the affair. Perhaps it was quite a miracle that I saw him kissing with another woman through the hospital room window at that time. I guess because Felix thought that I was being hospitalized, I wouldn't notice about him having an affair with another woman at the parking lot. Before I could get proof of the affair, my husband finally contacted me. Hey, where the hell are you now? I checked with the hospital and they said you left the hospital a long time ago. You finally realized, huh? I'm at my parents' house currently. And I won't be going back to our house anymore. What the? What the hell are you saying? Stop being ridiculous and just come back here. No, I will not. I don't want to live with someone like you anymore. Please mail those divorce papers to my parents' house. You've got to be kidding me. We're not getting a divorce, and you're going to live in my house as the housekeeper. If you're going to divorce me, then you better quit your job. Excuse me? I just can't stand that you got a promotion. Because you can't be a wife and earn as much as your own husband. He must be a psycho. So the reason for my husband's change in attitude was him just being jealous about me and my promotion, huh? This makes me feel more and more like I need to get a divorce. 
How could I possibly agree to such ridiculous terms? Shut the hell up. Either you don't divorce me and do everything in this house, or you quit your job and divorce me. With saying just that, my husband hung up the phone. I knew that Felix would never divorce me if I just stayed this way. While I was in a hurry to decide what to do, the investigation agency finally caught the moment when Felix was having an affair with his mistress. Perhaps he was caught off guard by the fact that I was back at my parents' home, or perhaps he was frustrated by the arguments we just had. He had invited the mistress to our house and the investigators succeeded in capturing the moment she entered the house in photos and videos. After I obtained these evidence, I hired a lawyer and began to prepare for a divorce. Then, I went with my lawyer to the house where I lived with my husband for the first time in a long time. Oh, so you're finally going to give up and obey me. No, I had made up my mind. I made up my mind to divorce you. Hearing this, my husband frowned. So, if you're choosing to divorce me, are you going to quit your job? Nope, I will not quit my job. Huh? You really don't listen, do you? You better think again. I ignored my husband's statement and had my lawyer come inside. What the? Who the hell is he? He's my lawyer. Hearing the word lawyer, my husband froze. Then we went into the living room and proceeded to talk while sitting down. My husband looked somewhat uncomfortable and awkward. I guess he didn't expect me to bring my lawyer. I spread the evidence photos on the table without paying any attention to him. Th this is... This is the evidence of your affair. We already know that you are having an affair with your colleague who is much younger than you from the company. My husband's face grew pale. No, this is wrong. You can't just call her over to this house and then get away with it. Then I had my lawyer make it clear to my husband that what he did was wrong and that this was a divorce case. Then my husband suddenly started crying and got down on his knees. I'm so sorry. I was seduced. So please don't divorce me. Please forgive me. My husband grabbed my hand as he apologized repeatedly. But there was no way I would forgive him ever. No matter how many times you apologize, it's useless. Just sign the divorce papers already. You'll have to pay me alimony too. My husband apologized again and again and persisted. But when my lawyer said, if you don't do this, you will go to court and many people will know about it. He instantly looked up and said, I don't want that, and finally signed the divorce papers. Thus, I was finally able to divorce my husband. My ex-husband said, Please, don't ever tell the company about what had happened. But I don't know where his mistress lives. So I sent a content certified letter to the mistress's workplace. Well, after all, that was also my ex-husband's workplace. So Felix and his mistress's relationship soon spread throughout the whole company. My ex-husband called me to protest. That's not what you told me. But I hung up the phone and rejected the call saying, I just sent the content certified mail to your mistress, but I didn't directly spread your affair to the company. Actually, I have an acquaintance at my ex-husband's workplace, and it seems that both my ex-husband and his mistress are getting cold stares from their colleagues. As a result, Felix's mistress resigned on her own, and my ex-husband was offered to be transferred to a regional office. Both of them have to pay alimony to me, so they can't afford to live luxuriously. They both got what they deserved. On the other hand, now that I am free from the stress caused by my ex-husband, I can finally concentrate more on my work. Thanks to the promotion, my income has risen considerably and I have been taking my parents on nice trips recently, so I have been taking care of them well, I hope. Since I've had enough with my love life for the time being, I will continue to devote myself to my work and cherish the time I have with my parents. Thank you for watching until the end. 
please subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in our next video.